Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host here once again, the most electrifying host on social media. My listeners, it is Team Right Right. Now, if, only if, if you miss out from the earlier podcast, don't worry, at the end of this podcast, there will be a thumbnail. Double click that thumbnail, and that thumbnail will automatically will take you for the very first thumbnail. Scratch that. That thumbnail will automatically take you for the very first podcast of the day. It will open it up. So hopefully you will enjoy it, the very first one of the day. Now, that's all I got to say. I'm going to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and lots of very interesting topics to discuss with you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink, if you want to do that kind of thing. Or maybe you just want to listen to my points of view on this certain matter. And don't worry, my listeners, I'll put an article down below. I'm not lying about this article. Or maybe the article it is fake, but I don't care. I still want to hear my, I still want to get my thoughts on this matter. Are you ready, my listeners? I think you are. Now, Dolly is getting bigger and bigger, in my opinion. I know what you're going to say. WWE is garbage. It is awful. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They're going to go out of business in a few years. Hey, that is your opinion, not mine. But anyway, um, WWE is reporting to um, hire more UK stars. Now, I don't know if they're going to go to Raw, Smack and Lie, or maybe just go to NXT for a few years I think they should just stay in NXT for a few years. Then whenever they're ready to get called up, then they go on to um, the day after WrestleMania on Raw. Then they can stay on Raw for a few months. Then when they, if they have a shakeup or a draft or whatever, probably a shakeup, then they're going to go either or show. You know what I'm saying? So probably NXT will be a best fit for him, for them, them stars. So what do you guys think about the article, you know? Now the UK is very, very um, great atmosphere, you know? Probably better atmosphere. No offense to the American fans, but I watch the UK version of Raw. I know it's not live, but still, the fans really get into it. Now I remember a couple months ago, maybe this past fall, when they were in Nashville, the Nashville fans didn't give a darn about who's wrestling, who's performing. They don't give a darn whose entrance this is. They were like doing this, ah, boring, is it the main event yet? Is it, is the show over with? No, it is not over with, you know? You know? But anyway, the UK fans are the most crazy fans out there in the world today for wrestling fans believe it or not now I cannot imagine if they have a, a major W pay-per-view out there the people will go ape crap that is legit I know there's some hardcore wrestling fans out there like in Philadelphia Chicago New, New York New Jersey but those cities can never ever in my opinion can never top the UK fans they can't I know it's pre-recorded, but still, the buzz is awesome. Yes, yesterday, it was awesome. I know they're in the UK for a whole week. They'll be back in the United States next week sometime. So, that is awesome. I think eventually, in my opinion, my opinion only, UK will have a freaking pay-per-view. A major one. Maybe. It could it could work. With the, with the technology, I know I mentioned it before. Anything is possible in this era, you know? You know? I think Triple H and the company want to pull that off, you know? I know the UK fans really want like a Mania or a SummerSlam. Frankly, crap, they would probably want a freaking Money in Bank probably or a freaking Royal Rumble. Now, if that did happen in the future, do you think the America fans will actually buy a freaking ticket to the event, the hotel, the airline, 
for that weekend? I say yes or no. It all depends how much it will cost. Probably be a better atmosphere than the United States version. You know, I'm not dish dissing the people I just mentioned, like uh, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, Brooklyn, New Jersey. You know, like I mentioned before, the Nashville actually sucks for for the fans for raw they were, they were just dead silence now that's not the only city is dead silence you know I don't know why W's gotta go to that city but it's not about the money they don't give a darn about the freaking fans the fans are very wild they don't give a darn it, it is all about the money any kind of event you go to W, the NFL NBA, the playoffs, Super Bowl, um, hockey playoffs, it's all about the freaking money. They don't give a darn about the fans. You think they do, but they don't, you know. Only if they have a meet and greet because they have to do it, you know. It's part of their um, duties, you know. I know a lot of you think I'm freaking nuts, talking off the wall, you know. Team RA just stick with the subject and that wraps it up okay hey this is my thing and this is not your thing if you want to do your own thing there you go you got a freaking phone you know i'm being nice you got the internet you could do it probably if you have the internet if not then i want to tell you go to your local library and make a video probably hey i'm, I'm doing my best you know probably a lot of you don't like my stuff that's okay um but anyway, I put the article down below. So I think this would be a best for business. I'm not just saying it because it is a wrestling um, thing, but I think this this is a great move. And I know you're gonna say this is a bad move. WWE don't know what the hell they're doing. They're gonna go on out of business the next 10 years or even less. So that's all I gotta say. Like, subscribe, leave a comment about the article, hit the notification, Hit the subscribe, and that wraps it up. I'm not dissing on everybody, but this is just my opinion. That's it. Don't mean nothing. Good one. Have a good rest of your Tuesday, and a sign out for now. Ciao.